Well, good morning, folks. It's time for a bit of a change now. We're not in the woods today. We're actually going out for a bit of a coastal walk. Um, we were meant to do the Pembrokeshire Coast Path this week, but obviously with um, the, the sea virus, we can't drive that far, so we've just stayed local. So today, come down to Mumbles, parked up, two vehicles, and we can go for a walk from Mumbles up to Three Cliffs Bay. Coming up to the first checkpoint, Mumbles Pier. We'll get a better shot of it later, further on. You can see by the cloud cover, it's not the best of days. Forecast isn't really giving rain, but we may have a sprinkle. You can see across the bay there over towards Portal, but uh, it is actually raining. Right, you're on barely calm now. I got the GoPro tucked in my rucksack strap. Might be completely unusable footage. Bouncing around. And I know it's going to be really bad with the wind because uh, the forecast is 45 mile an hour winds and we're walking straight face into it today, the whole day. So, uh, hopefully I'll point to some useful plants on the way. And some beautiful spots, give you the names and things, so if you decide to come for a walk, at least then you've got a heads up of what's on that trail when you come here. Job on the pivot edge. That's Langland Bay.
gave me a little bit out of breath after coming up that path. Now we're going to Pulti Bay. Okay, we're now at Brandy Cove. I haven't been here for 25 years, something like that. And I think the tide was as far in then too. folks can pick that up. You can always pause it and read it. some uh, footage yeah cake as well get you some footage of us actually walking instead of just the odd talk because it's nice and calm here now so at least the wind has dropped enough Brought over bathers with us. I'm a towel, but at the moment it's quite cold. I'm the walk, just quite cold. The air temperature's okay. I'll keep filming just in case I fall to make a good footage. But I think we found our cup of spot, and I've just spied my seat. Yeah, baby. Check the view out. Pulti Bay. We're over halfway on the walk today now. And it's, it's only 10 in the morning. We've been going about two and a half hours. So we're probably six or seven miles into the walk. A cup of time. Right, folks. Right, I'm going to show you now my new pack that um, I won as first prize on the Bushcraft Journal magazine's Great Bushcraft Quiz during lockdown. And it's uh, an Osprey um, Archeon 30, it's a 30 litre pack. And it's really nice, it's actually really comfy. It's got an adjustable back on it. It's got nice pockets on the side that I got two big bottles. I got my Pathfinder bottle that side and an algae on that side, comfortably takes them. And another useful feature of the pack as well is, which you don't, you see on some of the fall ribbon packs, is you've got this, it's a bit awkward now because I'm working with my left hand. <laughs> Tuck you under the arm, centre zip. So I can either come in through the top or I can access stuff further down the pack as I need it. Really good pack. I love Osprey stuff. Very good quality and they're expensive and I'm glad it cost me nothing because I won it. <laughs> Time for a brew. I'm 
just for a while. This is me saying jet boil. Not a jet boil, it's a primus hector um, light, I think it is. But, really good bit of kit. Didn't buy it. It wasn't a magazine win or anything. It was two year subscription to Trail Magazine and it was the, um, the free gift if you took out the two year subscription and I did it because I wanted the two years of um, OS maps for my phone and this was and this has been great so I haven't used it a great amount because obviously we're always going to fire in the woods and things. Go in. Won't be long. Cup of coffee. And yes, you can see shoes and socks off now. We were going to go swimming, but uh, <laughs> that water's a bit uh, chilly today. So I don't think you need to see me in my trunks. Certainly beats working for a living. This is coming up out of Pusty Bay, heading to um, Pobbles Beach now on Three Cliffs.
against 10 minutes to get down the walk down. I don't know when uh, we're going to be able to cross the channel. Uh, first glance, it's quite steep. If I point you around there now, that's the path we've got to go down. So it's quite steep here. I think we can reach. There's our view. So we go down now, get our feet wet, get the old primus out, some lemon drizzle cake, and a nice cup of tea. Bit of scree running. And the sun comes out on the right, yes. I'd like to say it's the end of the walk, but we've still got to walk back to the car. And the sun comes out a little further. Shame about the wind. Yeah, shame about the wind. But that is, that is pretty, that's something else. We're not going to get across the channel to the sand because there's every chance that'll be covered over. It's high tide in about 40 minutes. So we just need to find a spot, a little bit of shelter now. Just out of the worst of the wind. Oh, kettle on. There we are, that's our cup of finish with, say goodbye to Three Cliffs Bay. We're now going to walk up the river valley, back to Park Mill where we've left the car. This is the last section. We're almost up the road now in the car. It's been a lovely walk, so if you get a chance to get out, it's definitely worth it. Obviously not on such a windy day. Nice hot summer's day, that'd be beautiful because there's a, quite a few stops and beaches that you can get in and have a dip and cool off. But uh, there we are, almost done. Well, that's it, folks. This is the Go Ahead at its centre in Park Mill. It's worth a, a look in if you get a chance. We're out on the road now, we've only got a 50 metre walk. We're back at the car. We took a left over a footbridge instead of a right, so that's why we're on the road for 50 to 100 metres. But, he said if you get a chance, go ahead, it's the centre, it's well worth a look in. Loads of interesting stuff to look at. And that's in the park mill and the gower near Swansea. So, point you back at the two of us. So, thank you for watching. Hopefully, it's been uh, an interesting video, some cracking footage. And anyway, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And there'll be more walking videos because at the end of the day, it's Welsh Woodsman outdoors, it's not just bushcraft. We want to get some outdoor skills and walking and things like that in as well and cycling, touring. So give me a thumbs up and sub. See you soon.